Okay, here we go with the legs and bum section. Now again, I'm using equipment because it's all about working out with the mate. So here I've got the medicine ball. If you're at home, you don't need to use a medicine ball, but make sure that you start off low with your weight and then increase as you get stronger. When we're throwing an action, there's always an instant reaction. So the reason why I'm applying a medicine ball to our lower body workout is so we can stabilize the hips, the shoulders, and the torso or the pillar. A lot of the times, we think that the torso needs to be not trained so much. This is actually often the weakest link, and we actually need to target to make it the strongest. So what we're gonna do is face your mate, smile, in case you go off shot, which we won't. We're gonna squat, so let's pick up the squat just going down and up, down, and then comes the fun, okay? So squat technique, bottoms back, chest up, stomach's in, weight back in the heels, knees over ankles, not over toes, okay? So have a little look, we're gonna squat and throw, squat, throw, squat, throw. Now we can experiment with different heights, but ideally I want you to be halfway through the squat as you catch and as you throw. So try not to catch at the top and let go at the bottom. Down, up, down, up. Now obviously we're a little bit restricted in space, hopefully you're not. Try seeing how far apart you can get, okay? Did I say how long we were going for? We're gonna go for a 45 second circuit. And up, one more throw. Okay, just tap it out, so as if we're shaking. So, you'll see you can't do this exercise alone. So get it in your diary. When's your next appointment with each other? Now's the time to discuss while you're on your active recovery. We're gonna go again, let's go. Down, up, down, explode and catch. So again, you can see here, or hopefully feel if you're with us, how much your muscle needs to activate to stabilize through your torso. Great for your hips, great for your likes, great for your thighs, great for your bottom. Can you feel it yet, Charlie? Yeah. Do you want me to throw it harder? Higher. Ah, higher! <laughs> great, so you can really, great, perfect, catch, make them reach, but never drop it. Four more, four, great stuff. Three, two, one. Great stuff. Hopefully when you're feeling that force direct onto the body, you can feel your abdominals react. And that's how the stabilization occurs during this type of exercise, which increases the way that you do functional fitness, everyday movements, you get stronger, but never weaker. Great stuff. How's your breathing? So we're also burning calories because we're almost making it a little bit more of an interval program. The heart rate is going up. Fast bursts of energy requiring fast bursts of recovery. Okay, next section, uh-oh, it's the burpees. So we're gonna have a static contraction. It means standing still. I'm gonna stand and hold the ball. Shoulder stability, abdominal stability. Abdominal necessity. As I hold the ball, Charlie will go down, out, in, stand up. I will go down, out, in, stand up. Does that make sense? Would you like to see practice run through? Over to you, Charlie. You go down, out, in, come up. I go down, out, in. So we want really good, clear lines. The number we need is 10. Abdominals tight, shoulders back. I want you to perform this to the best that you can. Good shapes. Remember, encouragement is the key to getting there. Here we go, you go. Down, out. Now you might have to keep count as well. I can be a little bit forgetful, or I can cheat sometimes. So, when you're working out with a mate, there's no cheating because you can never get caught out. Yeah? So again, here, I might say, come on, get your bottom down, Charlie. I might say, put your tummy in. She might also shout back, but hey, it's the name of the game. 
Here we go. <laughs> You're seeing if you give it out, you've got to take it back. Down, out, in, back up. Down, out, in, back up. Keep the arms nice and straight, so no cheating. And down, out. Two more. One more. Okay, how's your breathing? We're going down and up, which means we're working against the heart. So it's making it a lot harder on the body, which requires the efficiency of the breathing. We're still burning. We've got one more exercise to do. It's the lunge and throw. Now we have a couple of options here. When you're taking the lunge, you can start off by taking it at chest height. What we're gonna do, because, you know, we've had a little practice. We're gonna step up the game. We're taking it to the next level. We're trying to throw a little bit like a rugby player while keeping the chest up. Perfect lunges positions, please. Motivate time means practice makes perfect. Comments make even more perfection. So if you can just tweak slightly your partner's technique, hey, we're doing the job twice as good, okay? Okay, so we're gonna start on a balance. Stability is the key. Don't lose your balance and don't put your foot down. If you wobble or fall, pick it back up, nice and proud. Okay, so again, we're restricted on space. Experiment with distance. Right leg up. So I go down and throw. Down, throw, down, throw. We're going three. We're going four. Now it's almost like you're driving up from your knee, down, and squeezing through the stomach. So imagine you're on a chassis pulling you up. Down, hold that leg up. Come on, Charlie. Remember, encourage each other. It makes it fun, and it also makes you get to that finishing line a little easier. We've got two more, down. One more, we go, down, up. And just when you think it's all over, you realize you've got another side to go. It's not about doing half a workout. It's not about doing half the effort. So if you did the first side great, make sure you make this even better, okay? Other side. Now, you may have one side weaker than the other or not. Down. There's one. It's okay to wobble in life. Four, five, woo, six, seven. Takes a little bit of concentration, eh? No chat now, eight. Two to go, up, up. Excellent job. Guys, it's about quality, not quantity. Guaranteed, if you do that section the best that you can, perfect it, oh, you're gonna need to stretch later. But, legs done, how are you feeling? Tight. Tight, tight is the name of the game. Let's get tighter, let's get toned, and let's get stronger, and let's move on to the upper body section.